Hello and welcome to Sue's in the Shed and this course is going to be to show you how to make this tumbling blocks 3D pattern. Now this was my practice piece um, and I've changed the design slightly to show the paler colour on the top because I actually think that works better. This piece isn't finished yet. Um, so we're going to start with the hexagons which is this piece here. I'm going to be using Stylecraft double knit yarn in three colours. So you pick one kind of colour and you pick three shades of it. So a light, a medium and a dark and a four millimetre crochet hook. So for a baby blanket, which is a perfect size for a cot, we're going to need 50 of these hexagons. 50 of them. So let's begin. So we're going to start with our lightest colour. Pop a slip knot on your hook. I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to slip stitch into a ring. So into your first stitch, pull it into a ring. You've got a little hole there that you can work into. That one. So we're going to chain three and work a treble into the hole. Chain two. And work two trebles into the hole. And what you're looking at there is two sets of two. So we're going to chain one. Then you're going to pick up your next colour, which is your mid colour. Slip knot on. And you're going to do another chain with that colour. So just pull that through. And you're going to do two trebles into the hole with this colour. That's one. We'll just give that light one a little tug so it's nice and tight. Two. Chain two. And another two. One. Two. Chain one. Pick up your dark colour. Add a slip knot and do a chain in that colour. We're going to continue in the dark colour and we're going to work two trebles into the hole. Just give that mid one a little pull so it's nice and tight. Two chain, two trebles. Chain one. Now we're going to go back to the light colour. And what I'm going to do, rather than you cut off every row, for the first couple of rows, we're going to drag the yarn over and work over it. And it saves you sewing in loads of ends. So we're just going to take it over our hook and fetch it through as a chain. So we're just going to give that a little tug, that dark one. And we don't want this too tight because we need to work over it. So it needs to arch itself around the shape. And we're going to slip stitch one, two, three into the third chain from the beginning. So one, two, three, that one. Slip stitch. And we're going to start the next row. Just give that green a little tug, the dark green. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to work into the next stitch. And you're going to make sure that piece of yarn's over the top of your hook so you can work over it. Trust me, it'll save you ages later. And into the corner, we're going to do one treble, two chain, and another treble. All the time working over that yarn as it's sitting at the top. Going to treble into the next two stitches. Again, make sure that yarn's sitting over the top there. You see it? That one. So treble into the next two stitches. If you find this too hard to follow about working over your yarn, then feel free to cut it off and rejoin it at every row. And your last one is a treble into your hole there. Chain one. And you know you've got four. We don't count the first block because that, get fi that gets finished as we come back round. So we're working in blocks of four now for this row. So we're going to fetch forward our light green loosely to make a chain. You can tighten up the light blue. 
And to hide this piece, because we're doing a treble, if we just did a treble, you'd see this run across. So to hide it, we're going to go underneath it to pick up the yarn, then into the hole and do a treble. Treble into the next two stitches, making sure that this piece of yarn sitting across the top so you can work over it. One, two, and into the corner with a treble, two chain, and a treble. Treble into the next two stitches. And treble into the next space. And chain one. And just double check that you've got four in each block there, which I have. Fetch forward your dark green or your dark colour. We're going to do the same. So we're going to tighten up the mid colour. We're going to go underneath, grab the yarn and then through to do a treble. It's a magic trick. Make sure that that tail there is sitting across the top so we can work over it and treble into the next two stitches. That takes us to a hole. So we're going to do one treble, two chain and one treble. Treble into the next two stitches. And one treble into the hole and one chain. And double check you've got four in each, which I have. So we're going to do this magic trick again about fetching the yarn forward because it works okay on this row. The next row is a bit big, so we cut it off. But on this row, as long as you keep it loose, it'll work okay on this row. So fetch it forward, tighten that up. Underneath, into your hole and work a treble. Now you can see that's given us the fourth one for that block. So we're going to join. So one, two, three, slip stitch into the third stitch. Make sure your piece of yarns are over the top and slip stitch. Just make sure that's at the top. So we're going to chain three. We're going to start a new row and this rows in sixes. So we've got two, four and sixes. So we're going to treble into the next two stitches. Make sure that yarn's over so you can work over it. Into the hole, treble, two chain and treble. Treble into the next four stitches. One. Two three and four and treble into the hole one chain so check you've got six don't bother with this one because we fill it in when we come back check you've got six fetch your mid color forward don't make make sure it's not too tight if it's too tight you're going to pucker your work up nice and loose not too baggy but just enough for it to sit along the top Tighten up this colour, go underneath, grab your yarn and go and finish your treble into that hole. We're going to treble into the next four stitches. Make sure this yarn's up on the top so you can work over it. One, two, three and four. Into your hole, one treble, two chain, one treble. Treble into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Treble into your hole, one single chain. Check you've got six in each block. So we're going to fetch the dark forward. Treble into the next 
Make sure you've got enough to sit across the top. Tighten that one up. You go underneath, grab your yarn and go and finish your treble. Treble into the next four. One. Two. Three. Four. Treble, two chain treble into the hole. And treble into the next four. One. Two. Three. And four. Treble into your hole. And one chain. Check you've got six. Now, we're not going to pick this up anymore because it's too far to stretch. It really will pucker if we do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut all of these three tails off at about two inches. And we're going to go back and get the pale one and rejoin it. Now don't worry about those ends. I'm going to show you a little trick as we go. So we're going to join it in. We're going to go and do your treble into the hole. And treble into the next stitch. Just pull that green one tight and that's giving you your six. Four on that side, two on that side. So we're going to slip stitch into the third. And the final row, chain three. We're going to treble into the next three stitches. One, two, three. Before we go much further, we're going to do something slightly different on the next side here. So just finish this, this hole off with a treble, two chain and a treble. And we'll get ready to treble, pop it into your hook, into your stitch. Now, fetch this tail above your hook. Again, if this is too faffy, just sew them in afterwards, but I'm lazy like that. You're going to fetch your hook through and you're going to pass this tail back and finish your treble. So what we've done is we've just caught that up there in the stitch. Now I'm going to work over both of these edges so I'm going to make sure with a lane across the top and I'm going to work over them. So treble into the next, well, five. So that was one, two, three, four, and five. Treble into your hole. One chain. Now what you can see, all I've got left is that little hairy bit there, which I'm going to trim off. And now you don't have an end to sew in there. That's got rid of one. Thank me later. So we're going to do that again. So we're going to get your next colour, which is your mid. Put your slip knot on. We're going to do a join. Now... I know I'm going to throw something else in the mix here, but I get rid of these tails as well by working over them. So I'll do that again. If it's faffy, ignore this bit. Pull it through. We're going to go and do your treble. So yarn round, through, yarn back. This time, what I tend to do is lay that down and finish the treble off. And that means that that's laying there across the back. So I can now, now work over that. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So we should have eight. Two, four, six, eight. And you can see I've worked that tail in there. 
So we're going to do this corner. So chain one, chain two and another treble into the corner. And we're going to get ready to work this tail in here. So yarn round through your hole. This is what we did again. Put the yarn over the hook. Fetch your yarn through and then you can pass your yarn back. Finish your treble off. And that has caught that yarn. I'm going to work over the two. All the way across. And into your corner. Chain one. You can see we've just got a little, a little bit to cut off. Again, no tails. Magic. And uh, we're going to add the last dark green. Chain one. I'll show you how to work this tail in again. So yarn round, you go through, you fetch your yarn back, you lay your yarn down flat. And work over it. It's just the little things. Otherwise you will have a lot of ends to sew in. I'm going to work all the way across. So these are in eights now. Because it's row four. Into your corner. One treble. Two chain. One treble. Prepare yourself for your yarn working. So into your first stitch. Fetch your yarn over your hook. Fetch your yarn through your work. Take the spare yarn back. Finish that off. And you can work over both of those yarn ends. We've got an extra one there. You will have some to sew in. But this will... Make sure you get both of them. This will uh, lessen the load. And one in the corner. One chain. So all we've got to do now is finish this little bit off. So we're going to go back and we're going to cut all these yarn ends off again at a couple of inches. Rejoin your light. Fetch it through, pull your dark tight. Finish with a treble in this spot. And work over that tail. There's not there's not much room to work over that at the end, to be fair. So you will have to sew that one in. And because we've got two, four, five, and that's six, we know we've got two more to put in. So treble into the next two to make your seven and your eight. And you're going to slip stitch it to join. One single chain. Cut it and pull it. So you haven't got, if you'd have worked these ends in, if I'd have shown you that at the beginning, you'd have loads less ends. Um, but if you leave all of your ends out, you're going to have about, what is it, 12, even more to wear sewing. So try and like do that little trick if you can. So that's your first hexagon. Do those, have a go, happy hooking, come back next week and I'll show you how to join them.